Now we'll talk about graphing linear equations. And the word linear here just means that the graph is a line. So we'll be graphing equations and the graph will be a line. Now so far in this section we've looked at equations with two variables and we've also looked at the, the coordinate plane. And now we're going to put those ideas together. An equation with two variables can be used with the coordinate plane to make a graph. And we say that we're making a graph of the equation. So let's look at this equation. x plus y equals 3. And you see our xy plane here. And let's find a solution to this equation. Well, it's pretty easy to do. x equals 1, y equals 2 would be a solution. Because if we put in a 1 for x and a 2 for y, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So this solution right here, let's plot this. x is 1 and y is 2. That's this point right here. So plot that point on the xy plane. Now let's find another solution. We could say x is 0 and y is 3. Those values satisfy this equation because 0 plus 3 is in fact equal to 3. So let's plot this point. x equals 0, y is 3. That would be this point right up here. I'll put these in another color to make them easier to see there. Now let's find another solution. Let's say x equals negative 1 and y equals 4. That's also true because if you put in negative 1 plus 4, you get 3. So let's look on our graph now. x is negative 1 and y is 4. That puts us at this point right there. And let's do one more. We could say x equals 1.5 and y equals 1.5. So if this is 2, 1.5 is going to be halfway between 1 and 2 right here. And on the y axis, 1.5 is going to be halfway between 1 and 2. And so that's going to give me a point right there that corresponds to an x value of 1.5 and a y value of 1.5. And those values you can see also work because 1.5 plus 1.5 equals 3. So I've got four points graphed and what do you notice about all four of these points? Well they all lie on a line. They form a line. And let's go ahead and draw in the entire line. And if you have a straight edge or something you can use as a straight edge that will help you get it nice and neat. So let's draw in this line and I'm going to put arrowheads on the end indicating that the line extends in both directions infinitely far. Now note that there are really an infinite number of points on the line and every single point on the, on the line is a solution to this equation. Let's just take an example. Let's look right down here at this point right here. You can see that it has an x coordinate of 4 and a y coordinate of negative 1. And so if we put in x is 4 and y is negative 1, sure enough, 4 plus negative 1 is 3. So that point right there is a solution to this equation. And every point on that line is a solution to that equation. Every single point on that line has an x coordinate and a y coordinate. And those x and y coordinates together will satisfy this equation. So we say that this line right here is a graph of this equation. All right, here's an example. We're told to graph this equation, x minus y equals 4. And it turns out that this will be a line. And to graph it, we can find any two solutions. And then we plot those and draw in the line. And that's all. That's all we have to do. You can pick a third point if you want to just to check. But two, two points is enough to uniquely determine the line. So let's do this. Let's take this equation and find some numbers that will make this true. Well, some are pretty obvious. I can think 8 minus 4 equals 4. And you see what I did. For x here, I put in 8. And for y, I put in 4. And that's a true statement. 8 minus 4 equals 4. So the values x equal 8 and y equals 4 are a solution. So I can plot those. x equals 8 is right here. And y equals 4 is right here. And so this would be the point. That's the point x equals 8, y equals 4. 
Now let's find another. Well, I could say 4 minus 0 equals 4. That's also a true statement. And when I wrote that, for x, I used a value of 4. And for y, I used a value of 0. So the point x is 4 and y is 0 is also a solution. And x equals 4 is this point right there. So let's plot that point. And that's two points. And that's enough to determine a line. We can draw a line through those points. So I'll take my straight edge here and line it up and draw on the line. And I'll put the arrowheads on there indicating that the line goes on infinitely in both directions. And every single point on that line will satisfy this equation. And I'll just pick a point here and check. Let's look at this point right here. That point has an x value of negative 2 and a y value of negative 6. So if I put in negative 2 and negative 6, does that work? Well, let's see, negative 2 minus negative 6. Does that equal 4? Well, negative 2 minus negative 6 is the same as negative 2 plus 6. And does that equal 4? Yes, it does. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4. And every single point on this line has x and y coordinates that will satisfy that equation. So that line is the solution to this equation. Okay, here's another example. We're told to graph 2x minus y equals 1. So let's find some values for x and y that we can plug in here that'll make this work. Well, I'm going to start by picking the value 1 for x. I'm going to say x equals 1. And I'm going to put that in. Now let's rewrite this equation with that value for x. So 2 times 1 minus y equals 1. And the 2 times 1 is just 2. So this is just like writing 2 minus y equals 1. And you can pretty, pretty easily see there that for that to be true, y has to equal 1. Because 2 minus 1 gives me an answer of 1. So y equals 1. So when x equals 1, y equals 1. So the point 1, 1 is on my graph. So there I go over 1 and up 1, and I get that point. That point is a solution to this equation. All right, let's find another one. I'll just pick a number for x. I'll say x equals 4. And let's rewrite this equation, putting in a 4 for x right there. So I'll write 2 times 4 minus y equals 1. And 2 times 4 is 8. So writing this is the same thing as writing 8 minus y equals 1. And you should be able to tell mentally right there that y has to be 7, because 8 minus 7 equals 1. So I can write y equals 7. So that gives me another solution. If x equals 4, then y is 7. So let's come over 4. That puts me at this point on my x-axis. And 7 on the y-axis puts me right there. So that point right there is over 7, I'm sorry, over 4 and up 7. And that gives me two points. And that's enough to graph the line. So from those two points, I can draw in a straight line. And there we have it. Every single point on that line has an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. And those x and y-coordinates together will satisfy that equation. So we say that this line is the solution to that equation. Or that line is really made of an infinite number of points, and every single point on the line is a solution to that equation. So we say that that line is a graph of that equation.